Hello YouTube, this is Caroline Nettle from Spiritual Growth Tools and I am just going to do a quick reading for the month of February for anybody whose 2019 has not started off the way that they would have liked. In my case I got horribly sick over Christmas and spent two weeks getting rid of a chest infection and I had asthma and blah, 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 it was awful and I know there's lots of people out there who <clears throat> had the same thing so sorry if that was the case for you and um, what else has happened yeah I'm struggling to find the land here I've moved up north to be with my sister in uh, near Middlesbrough in Stockton and <clears throat> it's not going as quickly as I would like, but I keep getting told from the angels that it's going to go quickly. But what it has meant... Also, I have been on Facebook jail, so it has given me some time to do the business plan, the forecast, and I've done the website. So if you would like to take a look, please do. It's wildnettlegardens.com. And um, yeah, I'm super pleased with it. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing as soon as I find the land and can get planting. But in the meantime, I thought what I would do is just a little reading for those of us who perhaps are waiting for 2019 to start properly. <clears throat> all my astrological charts and all the readings that I'm having are saying it's going to get better. So it's about having faith. All right, let's pull four cards. Gosh, I used to do that about five years ago. Let's do that. So one for the first week in February. That one's shouting at me. Second week. Third week. And fourth week. <clears throat> Lovely. Well, let's have a look at them. So this is the angel of support. The universe has hold your, heard your silent call for help. Wonderful. What a beautiful card that is. These are the Tony Carmine Salerno cards. Just loving that. So let's tune in to what's going to be the first week for you in February. So, yes, there's a lot of angelic presence on the planet right now. I think there's lots and lots of things that are kind of up in the air and feeling a bit scary for many people. Uh, we've got Brexit, we've got the shutdown in America, we've just lots and lots of different things. We're fighting with the EU, the EU is fighting with us. Um, there seems lots and lots of uh, political unrest and spiritual unrest and um, personal issues being brought to the surface. And I'm hear hearing that a lot of people that are going to be watching this are suffering from long-term health issues. So... It can feel, I know how devastating it can be with long-term long health issues and it can feel like an uphill struggle. And what I'm hearing for all the subjects that I've mentioned, so political, spiritual and health issues, um, they really have been listening to our calls for assistance and there feels as though we need to be taking a bit of respite in the first week in February, really almost taking stock. And I feel as though they're saying what's out there is out there and what you need to be doing is looking at what's inside. Do I really want to heal? Do I really want to feel peaceful? Do I really want to see the world as a beautiful place? And so I feel... The first week in February, they have heard our calls, they are listening to us, and they would really like us to go inside and, and look at the things that motivate us for being a better person in a better world. That feels sad. Um, also, there's a sense of expectation with this. So as I switch off from the outside world... Uh, easy to do when you're in Facebook jail. Um, I can go within and I can really start asking some of the deeply spiritual questions like why am I here, what what purpose should I serve, etc. etc. So I think the first week in February is really addressing those kinds of questions. Then we have Angel of Union. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. So that is also corresponding, of course, with the uh, celebration of Valentine's Day, 
which if you are single can bring up many many issues if you are in an unhappy relationship that can bring up many issues but if you're in a happy union um valentine's day is definitely something to celebrate <clears throat> A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. So I don't necessarily think this is entirely about romantic partners and love relationships. <clears throat> uh, the word I'm hearing is cemented. So it feels as though um, relationships in your, I want to say social and business life, are... Um, being formed or being set in stone so whether that means a contract or um you're shaking hands over a, a verbal agreement it feels like the second week in february is very much about bringing forth that which you are have been thinking about for some time and actually putting it into well they're giving me the word cement so making it permanent not 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 that you can't get out of permanent uh, things, but what I'm saying is making it sturdy. And so I think the second week in February for you will... Uh, it feels as though there's going to be a change, whether or not that be a change in perception. or But just making something concrete that wasn't before. So making you feel more um, stable. Yes. Okay. Going on to the goddess of the sacred sacred path let go of logic and trust your intuition well she's lovely and i adore this card he's such a great artist i love these cards so we've looked at ourselves we've concreted something that's not a verb i do know that uh, we've made something concrete that wasn't concrete before or or solid rock solid or we brought it into existence and now we are being asked to trust our intuition and I really feel as though maybe the third week in February be on your guard a little bit. I feel that there may be some testing times. It may be that you're introduced to someone and you're like, mm, that person doesn't quite feel right. Or, um, wow, that opportunity looks amazing. So really trusting your gut to make some of the decisions on your behalf. And I'm hearing from the angels that most people find that really, really challenging. I know for myself... I have learnt to use my intuition, um, especially on questions of right and wrong. And an old trick that somebody taught me way back when, I have no idea who taught me this, but it was a great one. So if it's yes or no, I get a coin, if it's a 2p coin or something, heads is yes, tails is no. If I flick the coin and I want yes, and it lands as no, my gut reaction will be like, oh, and that's how I know I wanted a yes. Do you see what I mean? So it's tricked. I can't trick myself. If it lands on tails and I wanted to know, then my body goes yes. So you can tell by your reaction to what you got, whether or not that feels good to you. And I have used that for buying houses, for making trips to Australia. I mean, really, when I just don't know, I mean, I have never done it in a public place, but um, I, I've used that trick many, many times. And gradually over time, you just start to know. So... In the third week of February, you're being asked to rely heavily on your uh, intuition so that you can make good decisions going forward. And then the fourth week is goddess of sacred power. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. Now, this is not the prettiest fish in the book, as it were, whatever that expression is. But she is the goddess of sacred power. And I wonder if this is coming after the one where we're being asked to take our intuition because we will be asked to be, what I'm hearing is, a, take a leap of faith. I think February is a very quiet month. It's a very, uh, it feels like, you know, we are in the depths of winter when we're supposed to be resting and rejuvenating and charging our batteries. And I feel like the plans that we're making and the, the research that we're doing so that we can do well in the summer is all kind of coming to fruition here. And by the end of February, beginning of March, which of course is planting time and Easter, you're being asked to take a leading role in your play. So your life. 
in that time, so in the end of February, beginning of March, we feel spring springing, don't we? If that's the right word. Um, we feel new growth. We feel the earth waking up. We, ha we are very much in touch with um, that feeling of new life. <clears throat> and that's what they're asking me to tell you about is this new life. I feel that Every day we can make a decision, okay, so today didn't go so well, I can start again tomorrow. But I'm going to have to do it differently for tomorrow to be different from today. And what they're saying is with this card, please, um, please understand that you are being encouraged to step up a little bit, step out a little bit. And yeah, there's a whole world out there waiting for whatever gift it is you have to offer. So I feel there's a real almost sense of urgency to start that new project that you've been thinking about or that new relationship that you've been thinking about. I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of life coming at the end of February. Um, so you've asked for support, it's coming. There's a good partnership in the second week. Um, trust your intuition in the third week and then step into whatever it is you're planning to do. They love you very much. And thank you for watching my video. Um, yeah, that feels really done. So um, I hope you have a wonderful February. I hope that your year can start. Um, if you're, you know, behind as I feel I am, I have to be honest, having been so sick. But if you need any help at all, then please do go to spiritualgrowthtools.co.uk. On there I do angel readings, so I can do a specific angel reading for you. Or I also offer body talk where... Um, we talk to the in innate wisdom of your body and we help heal you from mainly emotional and um, physical problems, but it can also help you with spiritual issues should you have any. So go take a look on spiritualgrowthtools.co.uk and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.